Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and today we are going to learn about how to create a project management dashboard in Tableau. It is really important to visualize the timeline of projects that we are working on in order to manage and deliver them on time. So we normally use multiple tools or software to achieve that result, but if we can get the data structured in the way we want, then it's really easy and simple to create it in Tableau. So let's get started. As you can see in this dashboard, we are working with 12 total projects and we are showing the project by status out of which six of them are already closed. Three of them we are working on and three of them are currently open. And we are also showing the projects by priority, like high priority, there are three of them which are in high priority, two of them are in progress and one is already completed. In the same way, there are two low priority tasks, one of them is in progress and one is already completed. And the medium priority one are shown as below as well. And on this pie chart, we are trying to show how much percentage of tasks are already completed. So in this case, you can see 50% of the tasks are already closed or completed, 25% are in progress and 25% are still open, which needs to be worked on. And at the bottom, we are trying to show the timeline of each project by their task. And also if we have a dependency on the task, as you can see in this case, for project two, there are three tasks and task two and task three are dependent on each other. So when the task first task is completed, then only the second task can be started. And same way the third task can be started. So that way we can see the timeline of all these projects. And at the bottom of the screen is the time axis, which we are trying to show it in days and months. So you can see the duration of this task for project three. It's like quite a long 36 days of duration. And we can see that this, this particular line, we are trying to show the current date. So as of today, so today it's 8th of February 2021. And we can see how many tasks before that date has already been completed. So you can see these six tasks are already completed, six projects basically. And this particular project is in progress, which started in Jan, early Jan, and it's still in progress, and we are expecting it to be completed on 8th of February. Uh, no, actually, in this case, we are expecting it to complete around 16th of February. So this chart is quite easy to create in uh, Tableau. So first of all, I will show you how the data need to be transformed or created. So in this case, I am just using a simple Excel spreadsheet where I have listed down all the 12 projects with their tasks. And we have all the projects here and all the tasks under that. So as I mentioned earlier, project two has three tasks. So each of them have the dependency task in this scenario. So task two has a dependency task on task one. So unless the task one is completed, we can't start task two. The same way task three has a dependency on task two. So that I will show you how to build that one. Then we have the priority, the start date, completion date, and their status and we are trying to show the duration. So even if you are getting this data from uh, Jira or Microsoft Planner, if you can manipulate and manipulate the data in this way and structure it in this way, then we can simply use this data structure in Tableau Dashboard and we can automate the end-to-end -end process, so which is quite handy. So let's get started with a blank workbook. And in this case, I have already connected to the Excel spreadsheet, which I just shown you. So first of all, how to create the timeline in Tableau. So I will simply bring the project into the row shelf and then I will bring the start date into the column shelf and I will change the formatting into month here and date as a continuous value. And it automatically created into a Gantt chart in the marks. So that shows us where each of these projects have started. Then I will simply bring the duration into the size mark. And you will see it automatically start showing all the durations in terms of days. So if you hover over to this project three, it shows you 36 days, which started on 9th of January. And also I want to see the end date in this case. So the completion date in this case, I will bring it into the tool tapes. And when you hover over, you will see the start date is 9th of January and the completion date is 14th of February, 2021. 
and now as you can see all these project here and for project 2 you can see there are three tasks and each have dependency on each other so it will be starting after the first task is completed so if you hover over to this task and you see the start date is 7th of january and its completion date is 9th of january and then the second task is starting on 10th of january with the completion date on 15th of january so that way once your data is structured it's quite easy and simple to create this chart but now all these tasks in project 2 are created in one row if you don't want to see it in this way and you want it to see by each of the rows you can simply bring the task into the row shelf and you will see simply by this in, in each task and in individual row and also you can create or drag the status onto the color shelf and you can differentiate the colors by closed so it will show you all the closed tasks and progress and open tasks so you can change the colors the way you want it and the, another interesting feature is you can create the line as of current date which can show you the status of all these tasks so how you can create that first of all i will create a calculated field and i will create a calculated field for today which will which will give us the today's date so i will simply use today's function and click ok and then i will right click on the axis and create add reference line and here i just want the entire table to be shown as that reference line as you see here the start date value we have selected here and it started which date it gives us a reference line for the start date but i don't want the start date in this case i want to see today's date so i will use a parameter for that so i will create a new parameter and i will create a list on that and i will say i want to add a value from a field which in this case i have created today and i want to use it as a today value so that's our today value we have displayed it that way and i want to label it as a value and that's pretty much it i would like to use a dotted line in this case so click ok so you can see it here so this is shown as a date and time i don't want date and time i just want date so i will go to edit parameter and change it to date and here it says today value is not in the parameter list of values so because we have changed the formatting here so i will just bring it again from here and i will show it as today click ok so it will show us the date as a reference line so we can see how many projects are completed or are in progress as of today so that's an easy way to do that and another thing what we can create as i shown you in earlier we can create simple charts uh, you can do formatting as the way you want it so i want to see all the tasks by status so i will bring the status in here i will bring the projects here and i want to see projects as a measure value and i want to do the count here so i will simply use it as a bar chart to just show the count of all the projects which are in progress closed or open i would simply use the colors here and the same way i can use it for i will create a duplicate sheet and i will use it for priorities and i will instead of status i will use a priority here and you can see the colors changed in terms of priority and i don't want to show the headers but i want to show the labels so i'll show the labels here and this i will show projects by priority and here in this sheet i will show projects by status and our first sheet was timeline okay so now we have these three tabs created so now we can create the dashboard uh, i will use the floating um, floating container in this case so i will simply bring the timeline in here and i don't want to show the parameter and i will just expand it and i will change the settings and i will fit the entire view i don't want to show the label here because it's obvious quite obvious so i will keep it this way so we have all the projects and tasks in this way and i will bring the projects by status here and i will do the same thing here 
I will hide the headers and I will fit the entire view. And we will remove the heading labels in this case and you can adjust the formatting the way you want it. So I will just give you an idea how this can be created. The so same way I will do the projects by priority. I will bring it here and hide it. And then we can also bring the total project numbers in this case, which we haven't created. So what I will do, I will create another sheet and I will just bring the projects uh, in the text mark. Uh, I will bring it in the text mark and I will change it to measure as a count. You will see the 12 is the count of total number of projects. So simply I will change the size and increase the size. Let's say make it 48 and I will say total projects and go to the dashboard. I will simply bring and drag the total projects here and hide it. It will give us the total number of projects and you can do a bit more formatting here and adjust the layers or the alignment and we'll keep it into the center and we can fit the entire view. So it will give you total projects it will give you task projects by status and projects by priority. So another thing which we can do here is go to the dashboard and create action items. And in this case, I will create a filter action item and I will create it on projects by status. And I want it to filter all the sheets based on that when I click on the close task. For example, I want to see close task, all of them. I click on that and it will filter all the dashboard and it will show us all the close tasks and all of them are on time. As of today, we can see all of them are on time. And in progress, if I want to see, it will show you this task started in early Jan and it's still in progress and expected to complete on um, by the mid of this month. So that way you can set up all these filters and everything. And it's quite easy to use and you can integrate it with any of the existing project management tool and extract the data on automated uh, jobs by automated jobs and you can achieve these results and once your dashboard is completed it will look something similar to this one which i have already created and same way i added these filters that you can